Okay, ladies and gentlemen, in this last problem from section 5.2, we have v of t equal 5,000 times 0.9 to the t power. v represents the dollar value of a machine at the end of t years. So v is value in dollars and t is time in years. And this is actually called a depreciation function. Part of the reason is when you purchase, let's say, office equipment, it's going to become you know, worth less as time goes on. And part of the reason I knew this was a depreciation function, the base of the exponential part of the function here is, is between 0 and 1. It's 0.9. When that's the case, you're talking about a, a decay curve rather than a growth curve. What is the value, the original value of the equipment? In other words, at time 0. So they want me to find v of v of 0. That would be 5,000 times 0 0.9 to the 0 power. 0 0.9 to the 0 power is 1. 5,000 times 1 is 5,000. So whatever this machine is at time 0, in other words, the day I bought it, at the beginning of time, you know, at the beginning of my ownership, it was worth $5,000. What is the equipment's value at the end of two years? Well, they want me to find V of 2. So I'm going to be plugging into the function, and I'm going to be getting 5,000 times 0.9 to the second power. And this is calculator time. Let me turn it on. Let me clear out the garbage we've got in there. Type in 5,000. Okay. And then left paren. 0.9 right paren, caret for exponent, and 2. And we hit enter, and we've got the answer 4050. So catch what's happening here. Initially my machine was worth, well I paid $5,000 for it. Two years later, the value of the machine was $4,050. Now, how many years will elapse before the machine is worth 2600 So in other words, I want to know when the value, I want to know when the depreciation function, okay, is equal to 2600 I want to solve this equation. Well, right now, this is the example I used in class. The cat's trapped up a tree. We want to get it down using a log ladder or a natural log ladder. We've got to get the 5,000 out of the way by division. So I have 0.9 to the t power equals 2,600 divided by 5,000. Now, I want to solve this exponential equation, and I'm going to do it by using... Um, by actually putting each of these into either the log or natural log function, since they're equal to each other, when I plug them into the natural log function, those answers will equal each other too, okay? So what I really did to go from here to here, since these two numbers were equal, I knew when I plugged them each into the natural log function, I would get equal results. Now this side of the equation, we can simplify more by using the power rule of logs. So this becomes t times the natural log of 0.9 is equal to the natural log of, and what is this, 2600 divided by 5000. So to get t alone, we divide. So t is equal to the natural log of 2600 divided by 5000 all over the natural log of 0.9. And definitely calculator time. I go over to my calculator and I clear out what I have. And I'm going to punch in this. So I'm going to punch in natural log. It already gives me one of the parens. I'm going to type 2600 divided by 5,000. See that? And I'm going to close the paren. 
Then I'm going to hit a division sign representing this division divided by and then I'm going to push the natural log again. It puts a paren and I type in 0.9 and I close the paren okay and I hit enter and I come out with approximately 6.2 so in approximately approximately 6.2 years my machine is worth $2,600 it's depreciated to that value in this amount of time and we're done